My pageantry journey started at the tender age of 14 in my hometown, Pampanga, the Christmas capital of my country. I was rewarded this year with the precious title that I'll proudly carry for the rest of my life, Miss Intercontinental Philippines. Through it all, I realized that the sparkle of the crown is momentary. It's the purpose by which it was given that is far more important, to find a higher calling in this world and act on it. To make a difference in the lives of others, no matter how small. In the end, the true measure of fulfillment is not always in winning, but in discovering the best in all of us. My life-changing moment began with the sight of little children in poor communities abandoned by their parents because of poverty. I decided to help them the best way I could. While I love being around with kids, I also have a keen interest in travel. So I took up and finished a college degree in tourism. This helped me discover and appreciate the diverse cultures around the world and gave me the opportunity to expand my horizons. Some people say that those who discover their purpose and then live it are the happiest and I couldn't agree more. Finding my purpose made me love and appreciate life better. Every smile I get from helping the less fortunate and each hug from a child I nurture makes me feel alive. Pageantry gave me a deeper sense of purpose and faith had it that I'd be sent to Egypt one of the world's greatest cradles of civilization. My destination is perfect. Even if I come from a nation of islands 10,000 miles away, our countries are linked by over half a century of friendship. And as we converge here today from seven different continents for Miss Intercontinental, let us remember the insightful words of Egypt's very own diplomat and the former Secretary General of the United Nations, Butros Butros Ghali, who said, Diversity is a vitally important hallmark of democracy. In the pursuit of our common purpose, let us raise our diverse voices together so our continents can hear us loud and clear. Mama Mary Tiglao, Philippines.